Hello friends, uh, today I will discuss about use of lightning arrestor or surge arrestor in a substation. Before going through this video, you are requested to please go through my channel and do subscribe my channel if not subscribed earlier and also press bell button for notification of videos to be uploaded in future. Now why use lightning arrestor or surge arrestor? Lightning arrestor or surge arrestor in substation is used to protect costly equipment of substation from transient over voltage. This transient over voltage in substation comes either from switching operation or from direct stroke of lightning. Now in a substation, first equipment which is placed in the entrance and exit of the any bay is surge arrestor. A single line diagram with one incomer uh, and one outgoing feeder with TBC bay and one main bus and one transfer bus has been shown in this diagram. You can see the first equipment for incomer before the city LA is placed in order to protect uh, uh, the surge arrestor to interns in the substation. Again for the feeder that is outgoing feeder LA is placed at the exit that is at the beginning of the feeder. The reason is the same to protect any surge to enter through the feeder in, into the substation. Now again for transformer LA is placed close proximity to the transformer. The single line diagram uh, shown uh, for the transformer that is HB side and LB side and also the LB side uh, main bus. It may be a 33 kb substation that is the transformer rating may be 33 by 11 kb or it may be a 132 by 33 kb substation where transformer rating may be 132 by 33 kb. That is LA is placed in the HB side and LB side very close proximity of the transformer. This LA is placed very close proximity of the transformer in order to protect uh, the uh, transient over voltage uh, due to cost due to uh, switching operation uh, of the circuit breaker. Why LA is placed at the entrance of the transmission line? A transmission line tower with a red face or a single face conductor and with one ground wire has been shown in this phase into figure. And in the bottom uh, bottom of the tower, the tower fitting resistance is shown. Normally, lightning strike on the transmission line ground wire. The ground wire uh, protect the transmission line conductor from the uh, uh, direct stroke of the lightning. That is. It provides shielding effect uh, to the conductor of the transmission line. Now, if the transmission line uh, tower putting uh, resistance is high, then tower body build up high voltage, which leads to flashover from the tower body to conductor through insulator, which is called back flashover. Now, this lightning surge travels uh, towards the both end of the substation and enter into the substation by a conductor. And LA is provided at the entrance of the any bay so that uh, this lightning arrestor, surge arrestor, provide low impedance path, any over voltage uh, which comes, and thereby it protect uh, the substation equipment to enter into the substation. Now, why LA is placed in close proximity towards transformer? Now, LA is placed in the HB side and LB side in uh, very close proximity of the transformer in the trans substation in order to protect the transformer winding that is HB side winding and LB side winding from over voltage switching over voltage which result from switching operation of circuit breaker during fault clearance or transformer charging, line charging and capacitor bank charging. This LA lightning arrestor provides low impedance path during switching over voltage and thereby it will protect the transformer. Transformer is supposed to be the cost, most costly equipment in the substation. The old designed surge arrestor used gap in series with a non-linear resistor all enclosed in a porcelain cover for protection purpose. The diagram shows for the old type of uh, surge arrestor which used in earlier days. The nonlinear resistors provide high impedance during normal operation of the voltage. But when high voltage or any transient surge occur, then this nonlinear resistance provide low impedance path and therefore spark over will occur in the air gap and therefore thereby protect the surge from the protected equipment. 
modern days uh, zinc oxide suggestor used which have a non linear voltage current characteristics as shown in this diagram and now during normal voltage it provide high resistance for normal voltage so that uh, no problem will occur under normal operation but during any transient over voltage cause due to lighting over voltage or due to switching over voltage it provide low resistance or low impedance pass towards ground and thereby protect the costly equipment from the surge so friends if you like my video then do subscribe my channel and thank you for watching